The Creative House Limited is pleased to present Our Voices. just like this today because I saw a big bike parked up outside and it, clearly you're the one that rode it here. I wish, I really wish. So no. what's, what's going on Carlene because you have on all these things? Yes, I did it, I did it, I did it. But mm -hmm. today is a very different day. Creative, um, fun. Mm -hmm. You who is sober might think it's a little, but for me it's good. What is going on today? We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have body art. Pearson, tattoos, Pearson, more tattoos. <laughs> more piercings. More piercings. <laughs> so tell me, I know that you, I can see, I know your mouth. You have a piercing in your mouth. Yes. You have ears clearly. How many do you have again in each ear? On this one, I have 11. And on this one, I have seven. My two nose, well, the two sides of my nose and the inside, my lip, my navel, and you can figure the rest out. Okay. So, so you're kind of addicted this is to my piercing. Thing. Um, was I'm actually you're going slowing up down. Now. <laughs> yes. you, you're taking some of them out. No, actually, um, like I should have put them all in today, but it takes a while, and I can't sleep with it. I don't know, you know. I just don't know. You're not afraid of getting like the holes that they leave, and when? Because when we're 70 years old, suppose we have a piercing here, we take it out, and we have this big old hole. Fill it. Just fill it. Maybe Clay. fill it. Skin, I don't know, feel it. I actually have my piercing since I'm a teenager. When I was a teenager, um, these I did when I was like 14. I, I was a different child. So I thought I was cool with this one little piercing. I would like to do a little tattoo here on you, a permanent one, because you know you have the ones that I can wash off. It, but I, I don't but know. But guess what? And I'll tattoo you because you know what? I can see you started one and doing two and doing three, because I have three. You have three tattoos as well? Mm -hmm. Where? One on my back that says, death before dishonor. One across the whole of my back, and I shoot and start going down into wherever. Well, I must say you're quite brave. Quite different. Brave is when you, you, you struggle with a gunman, <laughs> <laughs> which I'm not doing, by the way. Oh. So, hello. Hi. How are you well, doing? Let's move over. Welcome. Hey, Andre. Andre. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Dion. Have a seat. Hey, Dion. Oh, these, no, these are the hot rocker boys, eh? Have a seat. No. Well, no. Okay, you're going to tell us what exactly. Well, he's Malcolm, by the way. Not Andre. Two. Okay. But he <laughs> preferred to be called Malcolm. Alrighty. As I told him, Malcolm T. For thug, T's, and toy. Tough. Alright, tough. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Um, Christina has never had a tattoo. I just want to know what the fascination is all about because I guess maybe because I might be a little bit afraid of pricking myself with a colored needle. <gasps> the needle that is silver. That might be a problem. <laughs> but, the needle um, is silver. Isn't a needle just silver? Well, when it's dipped into the ink still, it does change get a color. color still, but right. it's just a needle. And it it's just a needle. It's just a needle. Yeah. So it's just a needle you're afraid of? Well, I mean, okay, when you watch movies and you see all these shows where people are going to tat having, you know, tattoos done, they're always drunk on tequila. What, so why <laughs> do no, people well, think they need to be drunk on tequila to get no, a tattoo? Most mm. movies, this tattoo being done is like, sail a movie and sail all is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean... Tattoo is an excuse, right? Yeah, exactly. You don't have to be drunk because I have and I, I was not drunk. And a real tattoo artist would not take you if you're drinking. And also, exactly. when you drink, mm. it, it thins it, out your blood and it causes you to bleed more. So the tattoo really? it takes yeah, longer to bleed do more and the blood, blood kind of gets in the way. So you shouldn't drink then before you get a tattoo. You hear yeah, that? Exactly. Well, and um, I've been under the needle for 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at one time, at one six, sitting? Six each day. Two days, That's six hours each. Back, I not finish it. That's what you did for yours? Yeah, he for, did it for me. Oh, let me see. It's not finished, though. It's not it's finished. Not finished. Though. What's, what's left to be done to it? Whoa. Oh, we still have a good amount left to do. What is, okay. does that symbol mean, anything? It has to be filled in again, in. and then there's an next piece to go on to it. 
So you, you've gone through six hours already? Twelve. Oh, twelve hours already. How many more do you have to go? Um, about another twelve. Right. No, no what, what you're planning to do is nothing like that. You're not curious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm planning anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I might just buy, I'm, I'll, buy, I'll go to the I pharmacy and buy those lick and stick. Mm. I have a joker on this arm. I have and a woman sitting in the moon on this arm. Okay. I have two the, jokers. The drum, the crying dramatic the cry, face. The, yeah. Okay. And I have the laughing dramatic face. And what does it mean? What does that symbol mean on the back? I'm and he back. has one on his what stomach. What does it mean? No, no, my stomach. No, 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 no more. That's it. Yeah, for, for now. For now. For now. That's another thing. Um, <laughs> I've been told it's addictive. Oh yeah. It is. Well, it, 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 it depends on the individual, because some people, they do it far away, you know, personal reasons. Mm -hmm. Some people have scars and whatever. Some people don't even want a tattoo, but they have a little scar in the ear that the tattoo can cover, cover it up. It? They, they just put it on. So can the, the tattoo cover it? Yeah, man. The tattoo can cover the scar. People use tattoos to cover many different things, you yeah, know, man. whether scars or burn, scrape. Surgery some bumps or something are that kind of surgery mark. like chicken pox that gone but you still have the spots or <laughs> different different things i use tattoos and cover and you you're okay with that mm -hmm. you recommend that, yeah, that, that if a, especially a woman what comes them, in yeah it's whatever mm -hmm. makes yeah. them happy i guess and even I, the ladies that do um what do you call it liposuction yeah. Yeah. Tommy 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 talk. Talk. yeah they stretch the marks stuff from, from, it, yeah, it, use it and cover it up. tattoos cover stretch marks really yeah, it depends, it depends on how bad the stretch marks are. I can't do that. What, yeah, what would you cover complexion. stretch marks with, though? Just a design. If you have, you have a cover. line like this and you put on a design that is bigger than it, it's going to hide it, you know. The main mm. notice is going to be on the tattoo and all that. Although where the stretch mark is, the skin is slightly different. It's not like the normal right, skin. So you will still see yeah. the pigmentation well, creases and all that. But the main focus will be on the tattoo and you don't really see the stretch marks as bad. I have a friend who had a tattoo around her navel and she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And as her stomach grew, so did it, was like a, it was like a, it was like I don't know what it turned so, into. It no, wasn't like a sun anymore, it was like a droop. <laughs> and then she had the child and then the skin Comes was just like a rival of yeah, that's crush up. Most women will advise to put it like under the stomach line because oh, when you get pregnant, no, that right, is that going to stretch. It, yeah. it doesn't move as much. Well, you know, yeah. I was watching a show once and I saw a woman who, um, have to remove their breasts because of cancer. Yeah, they can. And they the actually, yeah. there's this, in, I don't know which, I don't remember where in the States, but they have a, a group of women who are into body art and mm -hmm. they tattoo the entire, if it's just one breast that was yeah. removed, they tattoo that the same thing that like era. covering, because they're right, basically covering, the covering a scar. And, and that there is no breast there. And, and sometimes they have all some, some little scars somewhere where it's from, um, forbid them from wearing a shot and as the tattoo go there, they start wearing shot clothes and, yeah. <laughs> but there's times when I, I know from um, somebody I knew who mm -hmm. did a tattoo who had a scar mm -hmm. and the ink separates from the scar. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it's, it started out where it did it mm -hmm. and as time is as if the ink opened off. Well, I guess that was it. Well, that, that probably, probably wasn't artist. done properly mm -hmm. still. Which, no, uh, when, she went to the, the when she went to the doctor, yeah. The scar tissue mm -hmm. was so damaged. Mm -hmm. Well, you couldn't hold ink? Yes. Okay. Well, it's not every scar you can fool with still, you know. Right, that's what I want <laughs> yeah, you to okay, tell. Okay, Especially okay. like burns and all that. Some of, them, some of them that really look bad still, you don't really fool around with them still. You understand? But if the skin has healed at, to an extent and not that bad, you, you can use a tattoo and cover it still. But using your judgment still, sometimes you really talk to the person and say, well, I don't really want to go on this skin, depending on how it stay. And, and the next thing too, usually when people have scars, the scars usually darken on the, the actual complexion. So sometimes if the person don't have that light of a complexion, it doesn't make sense. So sometimes it's better off leaving it alone. How do you guys, like for instance, how did you know, Philip, that you wanted to be a tattoo artist? Because you're still fairly young. I mean, you know, you're growing up, what do I want to be when I grow up? Fireman, I want to be a policeman, I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a tattoo artist. How, how did you, did you, I just don't. Well, basically, um, when I got my first two tattoos, well, one of them is covered now still. I was in fifth form, Drew did them, and I used to carry my sketch pad. Drew said, well, you can draw, you must make use of your talent. Okay. Being up there all the while, till I said, I kind of interested Who's in Drew? This. Drew was, he was a tattoo artist that was, was out there. From oh, okay. Okay. okay, all right. The real um, man. 
Yeah, a real big man. <laughs> all right. Okay. Kind of learn stuff from him and other people, research stuff on the internet and all that, and different, different things. And through time and experience, this is where I reach now. Oh, you're kind of like a graphic artist, eh? Right, yeah, I used to do graphic design. That's industry. it. I want to know, how do you become a certified tattoo artist? Yeah. I mean, can anybody just decide, hey, I want to draw on people's skin? I don't <laughs> think so. Well, <laughs> well, out here, they don't have any um, regulation Ooh. that follow up the tattoo artist thing. They don't have a lot of regulations no. out here. They don't have much. none at all. Yeah, right, like, for instance, ones. in the States, you mm -hmm. have to fill out a form. Yeah. Mm -hmm that permits you first you have to be over 18 mm -hmm. and to say this is your decision mm -hmm. and so on so and so now if you don't sign that form it's a disclaimer basically yes and then if something happens this person has a certificate mm -hmm. and if something happens wrong with yeah. this thing mm -hmm. you can come back with the law and mm -hmm. say hey this is done this is not the case here in Jamaica no, nope like well basically I have the disclaimer still at least I have it but the age in terms of 18 and all that, it, it kind of freer in Jamaica still. So mm -hmm. I set it at about 16. But depending if the person look too young still. 16. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is the age of I consent, was 16 isn't when it? I got married. Well, the legal drinking age is 13 or so, isn't well, it? Well, exactly. Jamaica is different from the state. No, it's not. Some, it's uh, 18. I'm just sure. They can drink when you whatever see the 16 they want. Come, you have to wonder, okay, you don't really want me to come back to you about the tattoo. Yeah. So, where's <laughs> the oddest place you guys have ever tattooed? On a woman? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what would you call out though? Because somewhere, well, somewhere out of the norm. Right? Yes, right. in like terms of you know everybody do legs, back. arms, back, navel. A woman came where? in one day and she was like, "What well, you know?" I he said, "Whoops, touch. where? Whoops, no, I don't um, know." Where? You have many different places. You have toe, foot, ankle, here, here, right there. <laughs> <laughs> have you tattooed Breast. there? Yeah, I can. If I had my camera with me, I could show you all the pictures, too, but I don't think that could go on TV. So, how, how Hold on, what you put that? there? What uh, you put there? A tribal design. A tribal design? Yeah. Where, Where is she from? And I have somebody uh, that did one around the breast. I have a photo of that. Oh, okay. More but than one girl's put it there still, you know. Is that it's safe? Not as, why not? And at I've this seen, point, you're I've wearing gloves and everything, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's like a visit to the gynecologist, really. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're good insertion. <laughs> Depending I don't think you've ever been to a gynecologist. I don't think you should speak on that. <laughs> what do you mean? There's no insertion. There's a needle pricking you over and uh, well, we'll speak about this. Is a whole way. different show. <laughs> yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Back to you, you know, because you said you have a shooting star from somewhere to she somewhere. She does. She yes. has a shooting okay, star. Okay, what about that now? No, I, I, I you know tell it's, us about she, that. it's she's the one who doesn't know. You understand? I know. Yeah, but you explain from experience. I will. When we get back, <laughs> we're going to take a break from our voices. Go nowhere, okay? Very interesting. It's about tattoos. You have a bunch boy. <laughs> star. <laughs> Welcome back to Our Voices. Now, as you know, well, I don't know if you're just tuning in. We're talking about tattoos. We're going to go on to other things later on in the show, like piercing and body design. Carlene, of course, is a pro at all of these things, and I am a punk. <laughs> no, so, no, no, you're a virgin at these things. Punk is what? Virgin is such a special I word. <laughs> all right. Yes. You get so, an opportunity so to use it. I can use it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dion, you're telling me a story. And I just want you to give no, me a no, little no. more. Um, he was telling us about a very important point that Which one? if you have a scar or something, you should go tell them. Yeah, the oh, yeah, that, that one. Okay, before we get to the juicy one, right? Sorry. It all depends on what kind of scar, how bad it is, and all that. But really, first, if you want to cover up a scar, mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's just a little scar, so no problem. But if it's something bad or so, then. It can't really hurt you to consult a doctor first. Understand and point. ask if it if there is any problem with it being done or anything. Cause yeah. very good point. Okay. Better. What rudeness him up to now? Now let's hear the rudeness now. Dion. Yes, ma'am. You said you've seen a tattoo <coughs> on a female. On within a female. <laughs> wi on within? In <laughs> <laughs> around <laughs> the vagina. 
of a female. <laughs> of a, well, it's not a female, a vagina. No, no, no. Well, who a vagina? A female human being. It could well, be a yeah, puppy. Okay, okay. Oh, puppy or a vagina. So That's a whole that? different show again, Carlina. This is a whole not a show. A puppy would get that But apparently, there. Dion showed <laughs> no, me, no. you're giving me the Vanna Black, you're showing me that. If this is, is the it? inside of no, the... No, this is the outside. This, this is, is the, the outside of, and okay, it is would here. You help us? Help us out as you see it, you know? This is the outside. Yes. Right? Yes. And tattoo is right here. Okay, why? Ask a person what we done. Okay, no, he knows her. Mm -hmm. Why did she? Did she say why, you know? Look, I can't make a phone call. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call her. Yeah. Apparently, it was for the element of surprise. Okay. Well, it's quite a, it's a, okay, what, what was the symbol down there? Can't tell you. Why well, can't tell me that? It's not like I'm going to meet the girl well, and say, hey, show me. Do yours and then you could speak about do it. Do mine what? I mean, oh, no, me. darling. He is from... My name? Huh? Where are you from? Jamaica. No, 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 in terms of tattoo. <laughs> 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 um, where, currently, where I'm up 7th Avenue Plaza. Okay. He's just addicted to getting them. <laughs> I'm uh, from Salon Innovation. And that's Marco. Yeah. I think she interested Are you going to do <laughs> a tattoo? Well, I want to know the price. Tell me a little bit about the type of price range for tattoos. Because you see, I'm not like rolling in my Bentley. So you really have to go and talk to me about this now. If I want a star, what's a the, little What's the star, cheapest you can get a tattoo? 2000 Jamaican dollars. Yeah. Which is far cheaper than overseas. The cheapest you'll get one at the sleaziest tattoo shop. Sleaziest? Yeah, you have some that is... Hello. <laughs> How are you doing, Carrie? Good, Carrie. Have a seat over there. Have a seat. And hi. Oh, this is let me just move over so you can get a seat. Come over oh, here, honey. Good. See ya, gentlemen. Oh, why, that's why she showed you that tattoo, you know. I'm welcoming mm -hmm. you and you, which is Carrie and Vanessa, right? Um, very brave young lady in a door. Yeah. Look at her like that. Oh. <laughs> I know. I want you to tell us about your, about Pearson as um, a lot of people think it's a long story, because it can be. Mm -hmm. Well, I am a certified body piercer. I was trained in New York at okay. Spalding and Rogers, which is like the, the main school of body piercing. They're located in Italy, Milan, um, New York, Atlanta. And I must say that I go to Atlanta every year, every August, where you know you have refresher scores, just like the doctors who go in for refresher Seminars. courses. Mm -hmm. You know, I do that, and um, I'm certified. You know, as I said before, and I've been doing body piercing for about eight years in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Both here, I have um, a student in Florida too, a student in Florida, and I also have a studio that I work out of in Atlanta. Okay. Okay. What does it require of you, away from being certified? Um, do you tell me? Well, it's best, you know, as a body person, it's best if you have the knowledge or at least have biology so you know the body, the body type, the body, you know, the, the places that is best okay. to pairs. Mm -hmm. And outside of that, you have to be very careful too when mm -hmm. piercing because um, you can hit a vein, you can hit, you know, somewhere that, you know, that can cause a lot of damage. And so, what happened if you hit this vein? And what's the damage? You know, yeah. have you ever seen any? I have not seen any, uh, but I know of it. And from schooling, well, like you know, <laughs> from from schooling, um, it is very important that you know you have to have a sense of biology and science before you even can enter into Spalding and Rogers. Okay. So what is the most? What is the? Okay, um, we, we all pairs our ears, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. What unusual. is the easiest? Person? Area on the body that is pierced that gets uh, what that gets infected very easily. Is it the because now every girl wants to do their belly button, mm -hmm. or their eyebrow, or their chin. Now they're doing it as moles where they're piercing mm -hmm. the side. Now and but back tongue. in the day, somebody used yeah. to put eyeliner and put a mole. Now it's or a no, piercing. Now it's a piercing. What's the what is the, the easiest? The easiest place. That well, gets the infected? easiest place actually is the airlobe. The airlobe is yeah. They're very very easy to pierce, and um, you rarely should use. Uh, medicated ring when using the airlobe, when piercing the airlobe, because um, you know outside of that the airlobe is open up to air, dust, you know everything that is in the air. So Why you know although it is button? easy, 
Um, yeah, what, it's not easier open to, to do anything. Than, yeah, but I've know. seen people's belly buttons get Run. really <laughs> infected. Because that's oh, of because, sweat. Well, you asked the easiest. If you're talking about the hardest, no, then, you know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. We've right. mixed it up. Okay, so, okay. Mm -hmm. What's the process? How can you not, if I wanted to pierce my belly button, what are the steps that I would take to make sure that this will not get infected and I won't grow some kind of thing on the side of it that looks like a whole new belly button? <laughs> okay, well, that happens many times. Especially and that key happens, skin. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, from key skin, as well as if you don't do the proper cleaning, you know, if you do not take care of it, because you have some people that just do a piercing, they go to the beach right away or they just leave it, you know, into dust, into dirt, um, constantly playing with the belly button with dirty hands, with the navel with dirty hands, so and that can yuck. cause infection. All right, um, one of the common ones now too is the tongue. Yeah. Can you eat how long after? What do you eat after you after pierce your tongue? And he has you, have a tongue you have a tongue piercing too. You're so let me rude. see, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> let me see your tongue piercing. <laughs> Listen, you're on the show. Show me a tongue piercing. Uh, well, after. no, that is a piercing. Let me see. Let her. me see her. Is there a different, I mean, man, woman, is there a difference? Um, for tongue piercing, no. Tongue piercing really doesn't hurt. Plus, before I do any form of piercing, I use an anesthetic, a local anesthetic on the area before the piercing is done. Can you, I want to, she wants her navel to be pierced. Can you do that here for us now? Well, I want to know, can you eat after you pierce your tongue? <laughs> Good, so we're yes, going to Yes, you can. Diet. There are oh. some people who, yeah, I diet. mean, you know, they go ahead and eat right away. As well as there are some that, you know, are a bit nervous about the piercing, so they will, you know, go into soups and porridges for the How first couple of days. How do you clean it, though? Just gargle with a normal you Listerine? You gargle, or? and there is sea salt, which, uh, which um, when you mix the sea salt with water, it turns into saline solution, and that is the best thing to clean. Or as to well as nothing, because the saliva does it if yeah, you're healthy. Yeah, the saliva does oh. help. I want to see the belly. Yes, yeah, so let's see the piercing. I have one, and I, I had no problem doing mine over and over and okay. over. Okay. Well, first of all, you know, you know, I'm very identical with my piercing, mm -hmm. so it is very important that you clean the area first. Good. Um, get my gloves. And that's very important for you to wear gloves, right? Yes, I wear gloves in all Just my piercing. Everything you do, you have to wear gloves and true after. Everything is most of us disposable by one use, you understand? Wow. It is also important that um, so I can't see. I need to get on. Even when I don't well, have to be afraid. has to be the same. Come on, see. Come on, look. I don't want to look. <laughs> I might faint. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you, love. If I'm like this now, what is going to happen to me during childbirth? It's, it's all, all different. Sobs, and you we've got to clean hold the that area back. before. Okay. Make sure it is properly clean. She has a little hair there, which really she should have. Um, see that she again. shouldn't but have the. Lots. She shouldn't yeah, have hair she because has it gets hair, right. infected. So she either. really should not really have like any. Hair. Also, it is very important that the person eat before you do any person at all. You're hungry, honey. Because <laughs> want <that> bubble gum? <laughs> <laughs> bubble gum not going to one thing. Yes, you should never well, ever yes. do a person on a hungry stomach. This is my first oh, These are your different little things. And this Come is on, Christina, don't ch my chicken off. And I said it, just going to spray the area. Oh, you're doing the bottom time. part of it? Yeah, she wants to get her bottom part done. It's quite easy and very fast. Within seconds, it is over. You hold the area there. The needle is all us, so you don't really feel much. Take a deep breath. Oh, okay. That's it. It's <clears> over <throat> and done. Within a second, you Did put you your feel ring that? in. You went past out? <laughs> No. Oh. Put your ring in, and that's Are it. Are you seeing this? Yeah, within a second, it's over. A body, uh, any form of body person just takes oh. like oh, Lord, two, they, they didn't three see seconds. It Is your hand blocking it? My hand it? blocking it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wow. That was quick. Yeah. And she just did it. Um, within a second. Well. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. No, we just, we just want to make sure that yeah. they know. You, you want to do yours, Christina? No. <laughs> Anybody else want to do this? Did, if I wanted to do it, would, it, would you be able to give me some kind of anesthetic? <laughs> yeah, we, we I actually, like, you it, know. Like, seeing that I'm so afraid, you could, like, give me local well, anesthetics. You know, when I have people come in daily that is so nervous, you know, about doing the person, I always prefer to, you know, put them in a nice, quiet room 
consult with them, you know, get them very calm, give read them the something to drink, <laughs> yes. If you read the Bible, <laughs> and I'm happy you home. mentioned the Bible because I also want to tell you that piercing is from biblical days. For years and years and years, really? people have been doing piercing. As a matter of fact, Abraham in the Bible, one of the gifts that he gave his son when he was about to marry his first wife was a body piercing. Same thing with tattoo, with Jesus girlfriend, they have a tattoo. Jesus girlfriend. <laughs> Philip. You just stay over there. Okay. <laughs> no, I want to know how you feel because you know a yeah, lot of Vanessa, people she yeah. says you're afraid and everything. You just got your navel. I actually pierced. used to it. Because it's your third time? This is going to be my fourth time. Fourth time. Right. And what what is it about piercings and tattoos that makes well, I you I think it's cute, it's unique. Is it erotic? Because for some women it can be erotic, you know? For me. Yeah, really. It's nice. I'm going to tell you the places and people see you have some nice tattoos and I ask, where do you get that done? No. Okay. Let me and see your tattoos that. on your arm. Oh, you have a little thing on your breast. You could right. just slide it. Mm. Oh, it's cherries. Cherries. Okay. Hold on. Can I ask a question about the piercing? Jesus' oh. girlfriend did not have cherries <laughs> <laughs> on her. His friend's, his oh, friend's oh, name is Jesus. Up. Oh, your friend's name is Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, yes. Tell me, Philip, what are you saying? Yeah, what were you asking I, I about notice, the person? I notice people tend to play with their piercings a lot. Yes, it, it, it does happen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Inside joke. Well, um, no, it does happen. Really you joke. sit there and they play with the tongue ring. Right. They play with, As especially uh, in the You mouth. guys continue to play. We have to take a break right now. Okay? <laughs> this show we're gonna is come getting back out of Vanessa. hand. We're going to take a break from our voices. You just... Stick with us. We have some really amazing body designs coming up. We are Pierce Can you tell Philip where you really played that piercing? <laughs> 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 Welcome back to Our Voices. If you hear Christina's stomach, Listen to me now. You need a body design to stop that growth. <laughs> Must you put my private business out there for everybody to know? I am hungry. <laughs> anyway. Well, Rick, Philip, um, he's a troublemaker. Okay? I, I don't know if it's the tattoos causing it, but he's a drip. Mm -hmm. Philip, tell us a little bit about the acceptance of tattooing. And tell us as well, Carrie, Carrie about piercing. piercing in Jamaica. Like, do you... Do people look on you differently? Are you Disco, treated differently? So because Jamaicans are so um not now. What are we? We're we're conservative as a people. We were mm -hmm. conservative. Uh, Alright, basically we, yeah. when you check out like the tattoos mm -hmm. is something that getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's not as big out here as the States because it hasn't been around as long. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I see the growth in it, I see where it's getting bigger. Me, personally, if somebody come for a tattoo, I'd advise them to put it somewhere it can be hidden. Okay. You understand? Right. Because in life, people tend to judge you right. just by seeing you. So seeing a tattoo, they can maybe judge you and say, well, that's a bad person. Whether you're going for an interview for something, a job, visa, okay. so forth. Right, right. Yeah. Or you're in a gang. Because you know the yeah. preconceived notion but if you have a tattoo, you yeah. have some mm -hmm. gang. But then again, some. basically, right. all types of people have tattoos now. Yeah. You might find a lawyer, doctor, nurse, anybody. Right. Down to. Carly. <laughs> I'm expected to have anything. Exactly. You know, back in the days, like way back in the days, people used to have tattoo for branding. Mm -hmm to identify each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You used to have the sailors, the soldiers, mm -hmm. all these people. And it was okay. And then that, that stage fade. Right. Then you came with the new era people who did it for fashion and right. style. And mm -hmm. then you become where they brand you. In Africa, when I went to Africa, the baby was born in different parts of Africa. Mm -hmm. And they, there's one baby born in different, different parts in Africa? No, oh, a baby <laughs> born in Africa, in a particular part of Africa, yeah. In Uganda, where the when this child was born, they put a ring, mm -hmm. a ring this size in the earlobe, and right, this and ring know, right. continues. And also, there is a part where they put the neck. Chains, different chains, like little bangles on the neck. the neck. Mm -hmm. And as this child is being 
develop. That's, that's mm. very true. More and more and more. But you know, if they but take off that, the neck can break. That's off. true, which they, they can't take it, it off. You know? But do you know what, Carleen, that when they put these chains, it's actually, them. I started in, in art school, it's, uh, I mean, it's it's a part of the, their beauty. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can actually, the more chains and the it's longer, longer your neck, the neck will is grow. the more beautiful like you are to find a husband. find beauty in cross eye. I don't know how. Okay. And in in Australia, there's some tribes that does this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, in America and of course in Jamaica, there's a lot of people with piercing of the clit. Yes, a lot of people <laughs> with piercing of the clitoris. Lots. So why are you looking? And lots way? of people. <laughs> and I just wanted to know, because I hear it is to die for. It is to die for. Is it true that when you do it that? Is to that you can actually it. sit down and if and you're in a taxi <laughs> or if you're walking, walking you, you can, have, can an have an orgasm yes you can especially I was told that i mean carlene is answering the question so it's true <laughs> it is true especially if it's done correctly because some there's you know the you clitor, horizontal you know? or vertical yeah and right. if you go right. especially inside like that right. curve into right. the clip mm -hmm. you okay. definitely will be stimulated all day all night so all evening right all you're um, not picking yeah. up Carleen on this show, you know, Mr. Mention. Look here now. So, do you pierce that part as well? Do you pierce the clitoris? You have people who come in for private piercing. And you yes. do it? Yes, we okay. do. Okay. That must be Where so Where is the awkward. most unusual? Forget the clip, because that's Hi. common. Hey, How are you doing, Ian? Hi, Ian. How are you? Hi. Have a seat, guys. You could sit there. Hi, Hi welcome. How are you? Could you sit Hi. there. Good to see you. Yeah, so it's, it's like a woman can pierce down there, right. women can put tattoos down there, but not on the clit, like on the front or so forth. But why? I feel like men do it male, too. male different. I, just I don't feel like You I don't do really man, but she. Still, yeah. Have you ever done a penis or the genital yeah, the men, men No, men I don't do male, male piercing, but you just asked one of the most unusual per piercing person. I have done. I have done piercing in the neck. The nape the of back the neck? Of yeah. the neck. Yeah. Really? I've done, you know, under the lip, lip piercing. As a matter of fact, I have done a watch piercing. What do you mean by a what watch yeah, piercing? What does that mean? Where, just where you would wear your watch, the person put a piercing there and attach a watch to it, which was, yeah, I think that was just very, that very has strange. nothing to do. I have done piercing where, you know, you go from your eyebrows to your ears, yeah. to I've your nose, those. down to your chin. So, you know. Well, I mean, it's cool. It's an art form. And speaking of art forms, Yes. Our body designers are here, which is something that I am a little bit more comfortable with. Because it washes off. It so washes it. off. It's painless. It's painless. I don't need anesthesia to do it. <laughs> no needles. And it does not leave holes <laughs> in my body. Yep. Christina is very interested in that. Yep. I am not, because I don't want nothing to wash off. And she said early on, tattoos does not leave any needle. Print, imprint. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm just uncomfortable with tattoos. I have done body painting, especially for carnival. Can you, I want to tell me a little more about the body design. Mm. Okay, um, body designing is a name that we have coined for ourselves. Um, basically, to differentiate ourselves from other body painters. Um, we don't only use paint in terms of body paint. Um, we use other techniques ranging from like strict stage makeup. Also, we also sanitize the skin, similar to, to body piercing. piercing. Okay. So okay. basically, as a why is that? Um, it's a precautionary measure. Um, I think it is very practical because we do We're ranging from children to adults. So it makes good sense. Okay. Because you might even have an allergic that. reaction to something that is sprayed on to you. Right. So even though the paint that we use is body paint, we add that extra security to it so it can be enjoyed by all. How long does this thing last when you put it on? And if you want it to last, how long can it last? Well, um, it can last very long until it, you're ready to wash it off. Um, oh. However, um, we normally use something special mm -hmm. and we spray over it after the design to keep it longer. Okay. And these um, like a designs, fixative. Right, a fixative. A human the, fixative. The human fixative. <laughs> Not for charcoal, right? No, right. No. And these designs range from um, tattoo images, not tattoos, to full 
body design, which you use um, for fashion and so on. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh my. A model. Hi. <laughs> now, how long did this take to do? Well, um, roughly half an hour it took. Half an hour. And yeah. how long will it, if he wanted to wear this just till 8 o'clock tonight, would he still look like this or no? Probably not. Well, um, with a few touch-ups, definitely. How do you feel in it? Do you feel wonderful? <laughs> feel like a superhero? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gives a party vibe when, when we go out and we're at different um, events. And sweating? Sweating, it, sweating doesn't normally bother it. What sweating actually does, however, it runs off the skin. It's only if the person decides to rub rub the skin while Whoa. they have on Whoa, sweat. go girl. Yes. Move your hair back so we can see the front part of the design. So what is that around her breast area? Is that a, what is that thing? It's so just to cover it for TV. <laughs> what is that, though, tape? It's, a, yeah. it's an adhesive tape. It's like Put an adhesive bra. Okay. So wow. what we do is basically flow the, design. flow the design over it and also gives the model a bit more security. And confidence. <laughs> and confidence. Oh, okay. confidence. So these are original designs or do you have people, do you have like manuals or catalogs that you just get and you just, you know, refer original. clients to these designs? Original designs. You oh, always yeah. use originals. Yeah, or sometimes we may refer to an idea Turn and then we basically flow from that. Well, it looks beautiful. It sounds like X2, but a pretty version. Because, you know, yeah. X, X Men True. or whatever. X Men was like an alien coming Baby, to life. This is a beautiful yeah. version. Okay. <laughs> so, how do you feel wearing this? Do you guys still feel like you're, you have on clothes? Like, are you transforming you into some alien kind of thing? <laughs> no. You still feel human? <laughs> Because um, it's very strange looking, especially for the face. But it's very sexy. I think, I think it's like it gets almost a lot like of attention, positive attention. Mm -hmm. And um, these ladies, when they are designed like this, going out to the party scene, they become the envy of most men. It's very <laughs> surreal. It's almost like seeing them step off of a, off a surrealist painting, you know, and they're right. coming and you're like, okay. So we, so we do things like this sometimes for different companies, mm -hmm. sometimes just for individuals who just want to look different and flashy. We're going to take a break from our voices and we'll be right back with more interesting designs. <laughs> Body designs, yes, but I think it's quite pretty. Now, I don't know if um, I'm brave enough. Welcome back. We are going to be talking to a doctor now about some of the problems that can arise from if doing... There any. If there is any. <laughs> Miss Tattoo Specialist. About tattooing, body piercing, body design. So, you know, I, I need to find out because as I told you before, I'm a little afraid of doing anything like this. Welcome, Hi. Dr. Singh. This is Dr. Prasad Singh. Yes. Hello, Hi. have a seat here. Yeah. Welcome again. He's my very special friend. So whenever I have any skin problem, you go or right thinking to there's, it can be a problem, he's the one to tell us. All right. Um, he's a tattoo specialist. Mm -hmm. They're um, body design well, artist and, and body person. Okay. A lot of times people do things that they really don't know what they're doing, and some of us are lucky. Nothing happens. But mm -hmm. a lot of people do, um, especially. I'll tell you what I've seen. Mm -hmm tummy tuck and the scars, everybody has a nice tattoo going to disguise this tummy tuck. Is that bad or good or is that okay or? Uh, tattoos have been used for disguise, but first of all, we should note that the book of Leviticus mm -hmm. states categorically, thou shalt put no mark upon thy body. Really? And uh, <laughs> would that mean that plastic surgery is wrong? I didn't Does so. that mean that a person going in to have a C-section is wrong? No, but maybe it's Does almost. that mean no, a person no, 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 no. who has a kidney removal, that's no, wrong? No, 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 no. But we said, I'm telling you what the Book of Leviticus says. Right. On the other hand, when we start talking about tattoos, I think it's important for your readers to know, for your viewers to know, that the word tattoo and taboo entered the English language about the 18th century. When Captain Cook returned from Australia, 
and he observed these practices. Mm -hmm. And in people of African descent, it is important for them to realize that very often tattoos are used as tribal markings. Right. Right. But in Polynesia, the Pacific countries, and in Africa. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are seeing a craze in the tattoos, mm -hmm. and the body piercing, and the body art. But it is important for us to realize that over 25% of the population, between 15 and 45 in the United States, participates in this activity. Mm -hmm. So this is no longer a fad. This would seem to be becoming part of the culture, the modern culture. As you know, because of CNN, we have a unique culture now. And this is becoming more and more popular. However, however, Sorry. in our, our situation here, you can't tell people not to tattoo uh -huh. or not to pierce their body. They're going to do it. What happens is that when they want to take off the tattoo, that's when the problem arises. What happens then? And then we have the problems. But they say, go to the dermatologist. Now a guy comes in this morning and he says, listen, I have to go in the police force on Monday. And I have this tattoo and I want it off. And I went to the tattoo artist and he said, I must come to you. And you're telling the guy, look, I'm going to do it in stages. I'm going to cut it out in stages or whatever. Cut it out? Cut it out and join it back, you know. And he's saying, well, I want this thing done for Monday. <laughs> and today is Wednesday. And you tell him you can't offer him anything in that space of time. Also, sometimes people pierce their ears, okay, and it gets torn. And you have the earlobe split. You have to repair it. Last week, I saw a girl who had a uh, navel piercing. And it tore, oh. and I took my time and I stitched it back carefully. It took me about an hour to repair it properly, so it looked like it didn't have any problems. And today she comes in and she wants to get it pierced again. Right, you see, <laughs> it's part of an addiction. I want to ask you though, because I know the air lobe tearing yeah. is very yeah. common. Yeah, very mm -hmm. common. And I've seen where it has been sewn and repressed and open again. Yes. Is this thing not permanent ever? That, no. I mean, once the skin is open, that's it? No, it can be repaired afterwards. But personally, I advise people not to do it, but they still go and do it. I do a lot of keloid surgery. A lot of women develop keloids on the ears, and I do a lot of repairs of those as well. How, do you, on ears. how do you even know when you have keloid? Because I hear a lot of people saying when they go for a piercing or when you go for a tattoo, you know, you end up having keloid skin. I mean, how do you know? Tattoos don't really trouble keloid skin. Tattoos don't trouble keloid. Yeah, because it's surface. It's not Object, beneath. object, object. I have seen tattoos. I have seen keloids develop in tattoos. Yeah, well, I think I the person went a little bit too that. deep. Yeah, right. probably I have also seen... I mean, because sometimes people do tattoos and right. when you look on it, it's not smooth like this. It's right. raised, you understand? Right. Because the needle goes too deep. Right. Okay. And, and okay. I think... And some I think people ask for that because this I This is why, like Harley, and you ask, you know, it is important that you, you, you know, search out your tattoo artist I because know. there are people doing tattoo all over the place. This is the point. Right. You have and, you know, you must find professional. professional people who know so, what they're doing. You, know, you need professional people to do it. Can the dye that's actually used to do a tattoo damage um, the skin your skin or, the or, or anything? Yeah. Yes, How dangerous example, is that? Let us say this young man who has these blue tattoos on his shoulder mm -hmm. and he develops an allergy to that dye, you know, which is dear. Mm -hmm. You have to take, out, take it out surgically. So how are you well, going to know if you're allergic to the dye? It starts to swell and it starts to No, but to how do you, is on. there any test you can do before getting a tattoo? I don't know about any test. What, oh, I, what I have researched, Sometimes it takes right? years to That's like maybe one in every hundred thousand people might have an allergic reaction mm -hmm. to the yeah. red dye because it has some sort of mercury base pigment. in it or mm -hmm. something in the pigment. What they say you can do is do a patch test. Just Move put on. some on the skin and see if there's any reaction or so. But I have never seen anybody with an allergic reaction personally. Only probably one thing on the in one picture on the internet. But as I say, it's like one in every hundred thousand person I say. And you have people out there who maybe are allergic to any little thing. You understand? Yeah. So to they would really have to know that probably they have a lot of allergies or so and then maybe research their self because I can't really just look on somebody and say, right. yes, you're going to be allergic to it. You understand? You must know your own body. Right. And what you were saying before about the removal and all that, everybody knows a tattoo is a permanent thing. You understand? So it's a choice you have to think about. And 
There's laser surgery which can take it off. That's also. very expensive. But yeah, and yeah. it takes yeah. like and six or seven sittings before it. It's not very satisfactory. And, what, and is this myth? At least I'm not, I shouldn't say it's a it's a myth, but. After you get a tattoo, they're saying that you shouldn't give blood. You can't. Or you can't There's give blood right There's a possibility if you're getting hepatitis, which is a liver disease. From getting From the tattoo. There's a possibility there's syphilis being transmitted. There's a possibility of HIV being in, right, transmitted. That's with, with dirty needles or yeah. with all these there's, needles. There's always a possibility of things passed on if you're not doing anything properly. Okay. And this is why I said between amateur mm -hmm. yeah. right. and professional. Right. Okay? The professional tattoo artist is going to do the tattoo in such a way that, um, you know, to minimize mm -hmm. the risk of infection. But you know as well as I do that they have kids sitting around the corner there mm -hmm. yeah. who take some needles, mm -hmm. bind them together, get some India ink, and yeah. do the tattoos. Mm -hmm. Right. But can I just mm -hmm. tell you about something else? Yes, sure. In, I don't know if you all guys have seen it, but in the United States, a lot of women have tattoos on their breasts, mm -hmm. usually a tear. And it indicates the woman has killed somebody. A tear? Oh, well, tear. No, well, it's, on, tear it's on yeah. actually on the face. And well, I've it's, seen it it's on a the tattoo breast. I plan to get still later mm -hmm. down because of the meaning. What it is really is, is a prison tattoo. That's where it originated. We what it means, no you either kill somebody <laughs> mm -hmm. or somebody close to you dies. So maybe one of my parents, if they pass, pass uh -huh. away, then that God is going forbid. to be my... But that's what will happen. But can you imagine you're going through immigration in the, in the United States and with this tattoo the indicating you've killed somebody? Yeah, Which right. cell did you or, escape? Or you, can, you can probably reason with them because you might be walking through and a red light go off and them say, all right, go in this room and I then search it down. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would ask you It have to be your decision. I want to ask you one question. Yes, yeah, go. The body artists in the United States are experimenting. I shouldn't say experimenting. They're doing a procedure now with Freddie, the man's penis, mm -hmm. and they insert a piece of plastic on it to give increased sexual pleasure. Has anybody approached you about this particular procedure? No. no. In body painting? In body piercing. To piercing in plastic? Mm -hmm. Oh. On the, on the penis. To put it in? On the, on the outside surface. And it gives more added pleasure? So they say. All right. Have you seen it? As no. far as I'm concerned, it's doing I'm a good job by itself. <laughs> Leave it alone. It needs no plastic. <laughs> you see Except for but you know, I should say to you, know, Carly, Robo. that body piercing is not permanent, comparing to a tattoo. You, <laughs> if you're a tattoo, your nose piercing, mm -hmm. your lip piercing, wherever. But it's like body design. You take it out and, yeah. Body design? It. No. Is there any danger in body design? Yeah. No. Is there any danger? I, I don't think so. I, okay. I, fact, I actually like it. You I like it. You like body design. The only the thing is, 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 is like the, the person's body. You understand? Because you, as I said, just like with the tattoo, you can't really tell if the person is going to have a reaction right. to the ink. Mm -hmm. The person should know their body. And right. Mm -hmm. And you'd recommend this for anybody because I know they do it on the kids for yep. the clone thing mm -hmm. and things. It's very cute. You'd recommend it. Well, Carlene. Another. We, I have come to my own little personal conclusion. I'll be doing something for you, even you? if it's not permanent. Okay, <laughs> all right. I just think that maybe I am not the one, chicken. but maybe I'm a little chicken. I am. Maybe later on down the line, but I'm getting older. So what's the point of getting one? No, I'm not getting older and start shriveling. Well, you can put it where it won't shrivel. <laughs> shrivel or Everything whatever. Everything shrivels, darling. No, 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 no. There's some parts that you can fix. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, that's another wrap from our voices today. Christina and not I. A lot. Um, I'm still going to try and pursue persuade Wait, her mm -mm. to have something mm -hmm. done that's permanent. Probably a little yeah. piercing somewhere that you won't see. Just I her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Just her husband. So bye from us <laughs> until next week. We'll Not see you again. Anything. But go and get something. You know, cheer up yourself. Because it's very nice after it's finished and you keep <laughs> looking. And as I said, get somebody professional, especially the yes, person that's and the key. tattoo. They, I mean, anybody can draw on you because it can wash off. But Consult a doctor. And Dr. Prasad, Dr. thanks Singh. for coming and having, tell us, you know, what we need to have done. Yep, thank you very much. All right, guys, I'm still not getting a piercing. I'm can sorry you, about can that. you give her a little star? But where, I suppose, the ink infects me. <laughs> oh, dear. Hi, please, oh, Dr. Right here. A little. I got so wash lame. Off. Everybody have a tattoo right here on their back. No, you're, you're here. here. Not for money. No, and then when I go to the no, States, no, no. they arrest me and ask me if I need some star again. Look here. Pain. Lady, Pain. right Pain. here. Tattoo. Right here, everybody do here. You yeah, went put yeah, a little, yeah, 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 do a little, do a little um, wash off. And Why don't you spray it and I'll fix it? Spray some hairspray.
that's no fun. I want or one. Give her one. I can get one hair. You see, if you put it in like on the shoulder, etc. Yeah. It's easy to cut it out and stitch it back and leave it almost without a scar. Because I'm like, I'm sure. Then you do it all over the place. Yeah, I don't think that's important to have so much stitch. Okay. It's easy to take it out of the shoulders. All right. Okay, maybe I'll do it.